some animals excrete uric acid uricotelism means animals are excreting uric acid as the excretive product animals which excrete uric acid as excretive product are called uricotelic animals the uricotelic animals see this is uric acid c5 h4 n4 o3 so this is the uric acid animals which excrete uric acid includes insects i mean the terrestrial insects reptiles the terrestrial reptiles birds and uh, land snails and certain wood lice like oniscus see major groups includes insects terrestrial insects insects which are present on land a uric acid is also produced by all tracheate arthropods it also includes centipedes millipedes yeah, for example centipedes millipedes along with ammonia it's producing uric acid insects the major excretive product is uric acid terrestrial reptiles like lizards and snakes i'm not speaking about aquatic reptiles and what is abundant some animals excrete ammonia or urea crocodile when water is abundant it will produce ammonia or urea and when it has come out of land in summer it is excreting uric acid birds they excrete uric acid pellets and terrestrial gastropods the terrestrial gastropods includes the land snails like helix so all these animals they excrete uric acid now to excrete 1 g of uric acid it requires only 10 ml of water extremely small quantities even in uricotelic animals the first formed excretive product is ammonia it is later converted into urea and later finally converted into uric acid now very less amount of water see in these animals water is always a constraint when water is constrained they cannot afford to lose lot of water through urine so it's only excreting less of water so that means uric acid is in the form of pellets but it has to spend it has to spend more energy least energy ammonia production more energy urea when compared to urea production uric acid production requires further more energy yeah so advantage is it loses less water disadvantage is it is it is spending more energy when compared to ammonotelic and ureotelic animals uric acid is also synthesized in case of mammals uh, from nitrogen bases adenine guanine they produce xanthine and from xanthine uric acid is produced uric acid is synthesized in mammals by metabolism of nucleic acids adenine guanine is converted into xanthine that is converted into uric acid sauropsids are reptiles and birds uric acid synthesis that uric acid synthesis occurs inside the liver in tracheate arthropods and when i say tracheate arthropods it includes insects centipedes millipedes all that so in that group it the formation of uric acid occurs inside malpighian tubules so overall if you observe the excretive products we have got three types of excretive products one is ammonia other is urea other is uric acid out of this highly poisonous is highly poisonous is ammonia the least poisonous is uric acid more amount of most amount of water is required for excretion of ammonia least amount of water is required for excretion of uric acid least amount of energy 
is utilized for excretion of ammonia but for excretion of uric acid requires highest amount of energy for excretion of 1 gram of ammonia 500 ml of water is required for excretion of 1 gram of urea 50 ml of water is required for excretion of 1 gram of uric acid just 10 ml of water is required so that means we are, the animals are trying to conserve water, ureotelic, uricotelic animals, they are mostly terrestrial. But ammonia is highly poisonous, whereas uric acid is leastly poisonous. And ammonotelic animals spend very less energy for excretion, but uricotelic animals, they spend highest amount of energy for excretion.